mainstays of work the workshop tr uh, quad quadruplet of the four of them with hodon being in the part of giga and this will be a an interesting say if you get the chance to play oh, and that's no. gonna be penguin opening it up with a pretty good one <laughs> Hodan lives and dies by the notion of funny monkey do thing. Yes. Um, now, whether or not Penguin's going to actually allow Giga to let the funny monkey do the thing, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for just basic movement to end disastrously. But Penguin's, seconds in, hang on. Like, Penguin's not with it. He's not with a funny monkey. No. Uh, the monkey is no only as funny as you let him be, and Penguin's not letting the monkey be funny. No. Uh oh, oh, you know? Funny goat lady? <laughs> Funny goat lady, perhaps, changing the script on us. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Hodon does have some very, I'll say, some shenanigans going for them, and a couple SDs from Penguin don't hurt. <laughs> Hodan is a character that I feel like is built entirely out of once a set tricks. You know the funny thing that you look for in friendlies? Like, Hodan was comprised almost exclusively of those. Funny. So you can get off one a set, but when he's got enough of them to last the best of five, yeah, sure. And he got caught. That was a game one. <laughs> that was a game one that existed as, that's that's what I feel, was one of the situations that I feel like Hodan loves to be in as we're going to get, we could probably play the whole match in this replay, not going to lie. Uh, that was so clean. But Hodon loves to hit you with these coin flips that are just so devastating. If you DI wrong, then you die because he has the right punish with so much of his charge move. Thanks to that charge up being, being so good at punishing DI in and charge fair, obliterating DI out. I'm very curious to see how this game two goes. I feel like what... Barring SDs, I do feel like this could be just as heavily of a momentum shifting game just because Sweat Spirits offer such an opportunity for Hodan to slow control of this stage with Screeching Halt. But at the same time, like, Opsa is Opsa, and Opsa is currently in the hands of Penguin. So. It's like he has a handful of, like, a handful of ways to win the interaction, but Penguin's like, okay, you can, you defend against one, we trade for one, then I'll do another, then I'll do another. But Giga has that game plan and has the power of charge up B, which is so good against characters that like to spend a lot of time at this diagonal. Of course, being at zero means you are a little more than a little bit negative on hit, and Penguin punishes accordingly with a fair of his own. Ooh, big hit. Oh, no extension from the sweat. That's unfortunate. Didn't get close enough in time, but he has an, another sweat spear on deck. The problem is, is that the setup required for a cloud, or in this case, the penguin, uh, is far less than setting up sweat spirits. Oh, but the get gets a thunderline going. Could have been parried, but Giga was not ready for it. Instead, just trying to set up another sweat spirit, but unable to get any sort of stage presence with those spirits, Hangman. Just back and forth, kept uh, kept always at bay with these clouds. Ooh and removing so much of the aggression, but able to get the tech roll out read into a huge F-Strong. Oh, big spin. And big dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, consuming Such a lot of space. Funny monkey. Yeah. You get you get all of this. I mean, the hitbox on the uh, on the charged, or on this, what it, on the neutral special, is so good, but the platforms combined with Absa already spending so much time in mid-air means this is just a reaction punish. Yeah, I think the the big problem is that like Giga knows the punish and knows how to execute it just fine. Oh. It's a matter of like actually timing the execution, like in certain situations. But there, execution and timing was flawless because he opened so strong. I'm telling you, it's quite like you you Bet tails, it was heads. And you DI'd in. Last time you died for DIing out, this time you DI'd in in the similar situation, and you died for it. Like, Hodan can set you up in so many of those really, really frustrating situations. But Penguin is. He's a player with whose known caliber keeps him in calm, cool, and collected. But how well he plays against a monkey being funny is gonna be. On display, in fact, with a huge turnaround in this one-to-one -one set. I think what's made this so interesting is that we have uh, 
such good movement from both sides, but Ops has always been known for having like very precise movement behind very precise buttons and being able to control space because of it. You know, barring how wide things can get with certain types of cloud control. Hodan is a lot more fluid and <laughs> is able to find random conversions like that. So, like, sometimes Giga just cashes in, finds a stock. Oh, and he crouched under the rising fair. That was huge. It could have turned into something crazy, but not finding it, not having enough charge for any of these up tilts, but fair is just doing such a good job of controlling space on top of this huge center platform, setting up for more tech chases, which has been a huge boon for Giga. Penguin trying to maintain control, though, Ooh. extending the fair and getting all of this space under his control. The, the cloud just being reset back in the same spot time and time again. But as, as soon as Giga was able to get back, they were fell victim to Absa up air. It's still fairly even. Oh, all yeah. things considered, like, it take, once Hodan's off stage, like, that cloud control goes crazy. Especially, you know, given the fact that, like, it's Penguin who's feeling that comfortable moving about his clouds. But in the struggle to get that stage control, he's taking a lot of hits. And every hit's kind of dangerous when you don't know what Giga is setting up for. Oh, the Thunderline actually interrupted, but he's able to get down with the neutral special. Coming, uh, trying to chase out with an up of his own, or with an up air, excuse me. Good up oh. movement from both sides. The cloud into the up beat, trying to get down, and he comes out with another neutral beat. Setting queen. Uh, oh my god. The yeah. cleanest of wavelands, but the. I mean, you can set up in a position where it's, whether it's a waveland or a tech in, this covers both. It's just such a good position. You know, one thing that I, I want to highlight while we have a chance to. Too. Like. The fact that Penguin has been able to adapt the aggression while Giga Bowser has been doing such a good job of partitioning his charges, like, you constantly have to worry about if you're going to get eat a random flash kick <laughs> or, like, what type of reversal is going to be at Hodan's disposal. Like, Giga's been doing a fantastic job of maintaining when he actually wants the charge or not. Doing... Doing excellent on stages that allow flexibility. <laughs> you changed up your DI? Well, I read that too. <laughs> Giga, his execution has been, for the most part, extremely well, especially with the hold ins. I'm not dying the way you did game one. This monkey is sticking around. This is looking so good, too. Like, you want to know something, started. something a lot about the, like, this aggressive fluidity it makes a lot of sense when you consider Giga Bowser's past as you know, being one of the most prominent of Sylvanos players. The way that Hoden can potentially control space is very similar when you could switch gears from that passive to aggressive playstyle. Mind you, very different set of tools, very different buttons to worry about, but the mindset is still there. The type of stage control is still there, and Gigas make it work really well. They're putting all those tools to use and mixing in some, you know, either whether it be true combos or just clever callouts or traps like that. Most of the time, the side B ended up being canceled in order to go into a wall kick. Not that time, just instant in your face, trying to force a Penguin into an uncomfortable position, which is important for a character, that, for Absa, who thrives off their trapping. Oh, these charged upbeats are getting are blowing straight by so many of these penguin traps. Cloud traps. The fact same that thing. yeah, they're, they're basically penguins and clouds at the same time. Penguins are just clouds. Penguins are just clouds. Unfortunately, that that wasn't helping. Uh, not at all. As it goes for it, this neutral has been such a good job of keeping Giga out of extended pressure, being able to land with it or just intercept. But Penguin has a chance here to end the set and make their way into winner's set top eight. Right off the bat, gets the parry into down air that time. That was cute. That uh, was a real cute set. I think, what was your words at the beginning of the set? How many uh, mids, how many once a set gimmicks does Hodan have? Yes. Enough to win, <laughs> enough to win at least two games with game one being game one. Yeah, no, game one, <laughs> game one was silliness, but you know, it set the stage properly because yeah. game one was funny. Game four was monkey. <laughs> that, that was very monkey. 
But game five brings us to Julesville, which I feel like, like all monkeyness aside, this is a very good stage for Hodan to be able to contest because so much of this stage is predicated on its verticality, which we've already seen Giga is so comfortable with. And that time he pivoted back into a charged fair, something that Uppy has been giving Ho uh, Penguin much more fits over against two through four. In game five, that time he reads hard reads the hard DI out and hard punishes. And he, oh! Oh, Don. The monkey's being funny again. Yeah, no, this monkey being OD funny. The <laughs> fact that he tried to get that conversion to move onto the secondary platform while it was available, and yet still threatened with the spirit, just fantastic awareness from Giga Bowser, and it's causing Penguin to get a little messy with cloud control, which is something that we do not see very often. Penguin's feeling the pressure. He's feeling rushed. And that is... Oh! The sour end of the down air! So unbelievable. Has to do a ton here. Gets the forward tilt into up air. But you're you're needing some game one magic. Like uh, how that stock... How that first stock of the set ended. But it's going to be a lot more than that. Pivoting into down airs gets a whole lot trickier if you have your opponent who's aware of what your win condition is. Pouncing, put the side B back and forth, unable to extend off of it, sending him all the way through, extending off the platforms and more. Giga is all over Penguin and not letting him have a moment to himself. This is about to be the crowning moment of Hodan. Are you ready for funny monkey business? Dan's gonna nerf the monkey again, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Time out, uh -huh. time for monkey. <laughs> yeah, go, go to bed, monkey. <laughs> these, oh, the, being able to avoid, avoid oh. free fall as much as possible with these spirits, but no spirits on stage. And yet again, gets another flash kick with that up tilt. Penguin gets Just the thunder. Barely! Line. That was maybe frames away from ending in disaster for Penguin, but he's still committed to his control. No, it's Penguin, but that was an Akashi line. <laughs> oh! There it is. So many callouts, so many just like reaction punishes, and this one, I mean, he whether it be to charge fair or to up special, it felt like every time Penguin was getting caught by an up special, it was by a different starter. That time it was like early, like a light, quote unquote, light neutral B in order to set up for a similar position. The percent base and the setup base was just so unbelievable from Giga. And that DI 